Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I interviewed Bryce at LDRS 41 and he's going to tell us all about his 14 and a half foot, 200 pound rocket called Sasquatch. I filmed this at LDRS 41 and uh, he's going to share some build pictures of it, tell us a little bit about the rocket, and of course it wouldn't be the same without an amazing launch. And all this starts right no. So my name is Bryce Chanis. I'm from Seattle, Washington. Drove a little over 2,000 miles to get here. Uh, about 31 and a half hours of driving uh, over the course of three days. Uh, it was quite the journey to make it all the way out to Bonn to fly out in Wisconsin. This is the farthest east I've been. But got a big fun project to fly. This is Project Sasquatch. It's a 24 inch diameter, 200 pound rocket. Uh, we'll be flying it this afternoon on a Loki Research N5500. It's gonna be a really awesome flight to about 2,500 feet. We'll see a main at Apogee. It's a 28 foot uh, C9 man rated parachute. And uh, we're flying a couple pairs of easy minis for uh, redundant deployment. And we're gonna keep it pretty, pretty simple and, and fun. This rocket's built out of 24 inch Sano tube. It's cardboard, quarter inch wall, pretty thick cardboard tube that they use for uh, concrete. Uh, supply and what we did to build this up as a rocket is we fiberglassed it, gives it some toughness for transport mostly. Uh, the nose cone was scratch built using ribs and stringers out of quarter inch plywood. Uh, the nose cone has both two sections in it that uh, deploy from one another so we're actually not deploying out of the top end of this body tube like you would maybe a normal, uh, more traditional rocket. Uh, but the nose cone has an upper section which has room to carry a five gallon, 55 pound keg of beer on board, which will be hopefully its next flight. It needs an O motor for that and couldn't fly an O this year out at Bong. Uh, and then the bottom section of the nose cone is about four feet long and that will have the 28 foot parachute, the electronics and everything else going on inside. The fins are 10 pounds each, which is quite light uh, given their size, it's a foam core, a one inch pink foam core uh, that's edged with an inch of wood and then surface uh, on each side is a quarter inch plywood. So they're super sturdy, really nice and strong. I can sit on them all day long, so I'm not super worried about that. Rocket's not going super fast, looking for about 300 miles an hour on its way up and uh, it's going to be one hell of a hell of a good time.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to contribute to the project, please consider buying me a coffee or using that YouTube thanks button down below. It took a lot of work. I'd really appreciate that. In the next video that I'll post in two or three weeks, we'll talk to Scott Cormeyer, and he's the guy from Loki that made this amazing motor that propelled this incredible rocket. So come back, hit that like button, hit the bell icon. We'll see you soon.